Welcome to my minigame only Iron Man series. Last time we got the levels required to get past the Lizardmen and enter Chambers of Zarek. It was a bit of a cliffhanger if we'd make it through or not. Man, shit? No. The truth is I misclicked the record button, so you'll have to live with this recreation of the events I recorded on my main. Now that we're here, we have a lot of leveling to do. But first, we need to get a few drops from these scavengers. A lockpick, fishing rod, and butterfly net. The iron axe and pickaxe would be nice too. Oh, and they hit like a truck, so this might take a while. One of the long-term goals of this account is to complete Tears of Guthix. Along the way, I want to complete a couple other quests, including the Dig Site and Shades of Morton. But to do that, I have to do Druidic Ritual first. And the only way for me to get those items is through the store in Canifis. And to get to Canifis, I have to do Priest in Peril. And to do Priest in Peril, I need Pure Essence. And the only way I'm getting Pure Essence is from Implings. I probably won't reach the level for Essence Implings first, but young Implings have a 1 in 10 drop rate of a single Pure Essence. So if I catch about 500 of them, I'll have enough to do Priest in Peril. So for that, we need 17 Hunter to start the Puro Puro minigame. And that'll be the main goal of this episode. Unfortunately, these guys give reduced combat experience, so I can't use them as a training method. One more hit to go. There it is, the first kill, and... Ooh, a lockpick already. That's good. Take the tinderbox. Might as well take the bones. Man, he's gonna kill me. First prayer experience on the account. Uh, I can't really use that. I was just rushing to pick everything up. And I'll see you with the next kill, I guess. Okay, change of plans. I found an ice demon room, and I'm going to do some woodcutting and fire making training here. Not sure what the best method is. I haven't looked anything up. So I'm just going to mess around and see what's the fastest way for me to... Oh, there's level 2 woodcutting. Yeah, I'm just going to see what the fastest way to train this skill is. There's level 2 fire making. And level 3 fire making. Level 3 wood cutting. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's 12 woodcutting. The levels are still coming in pretty fast. This might be my fastest skill to train in Chambers of Zarek at least. I'm going to test out some fire making in the uh, lighters here. I think it's going to end up being faster to just drop all my kindling and do them one at a time. But that also sounds awful, so we'll see what I end up choosing to do. Back at the scavengers, hoping to get some of the other drops. I need a butterfly net, but I also need a fishing rod and bait. Fishing training to get up to 15 for fishing trawler and eventually 30 or 35 for temperos, which is coming out soon, is going to be awful. I basically need to find a raid that starts with a fishing room instead of a hunting room, and I need to get enough kills for a 1 in 8 drop of bait. And uh, these kills take forever. If you look at the time up there to see how long this raid is going on, you'll notice that I haven't actually gotten anything worthwhile yet. These kills take multiple minutes each. And there it is, the fishing rod. That's pretty good for the account. Oh, I'm dead. Well, at least I don't need to hunt for that anymore. I'm still waiting on the butterfly net. But we're bound to get it eventually. Thought I'd take on Vespula here. Vespula? I don't know. But it turns out you can't whack it with your two-handed sword. So we got a bat room. All I need is the net. So I'm going to do some flinching. And see if I can get one. There it is. We got the net. Didn't take too long. 
Uh, but we don't have to do that again, so now it's time to gain some hunter levels. This is gonna take a while, isn't it? This is unbelievable. Okay. Well, that's the first bat on the account. I can actually cook these to train cooking. I'm gonna get at least a couple cooking levels here. That'll be good for winter tot in the future. And I think you'll need cooking for Temporos too. And there's level two cooking on the account. See you at the next level. Last bat for level two hunter. I don't know how much that'll increase my catch rate, but I hope it does because it's currently not very good. I'm not sure if the game just deletes it if it goes above 128, or if Runelight just can't handle it. But I'm willing to bet you've never seen that many cooked bats in one pile. And I'm back at the scavengers, hoping to get some fishing bait. There it is. Oh man, it is... I went really dry on bait. Now we can finally train fishing a little bit. We want at least 15 for trawler. Whoa! Never seen that before. Wouldn't be surprised if a lot of people who do Chambers of Zarek have never seen that before either. And I'll see what the level, I guess. Level 2 fishing on the account. Be able to get quite a few more with the cave worms I have, but I won't be able to get all the way to 15 with just these. And that's the last of the fishing bait. So now I guess I have to go do something else. I finally found a thieving room. I don't know anything about these, except that raiders usually skip them. 
I didn't bring my lockpick because I wasn't expecting this to happen. So I don't know anything about it. I guess you just search these chests and sometimes you get a ton of thieving experience. 40's not bad for uh, no thieving requirement. Look at that, level two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Found this set of four chests, works pretty well. You can just walk in a circle. And there's 10 thieving. Hoping to get at least 17 for the quests I'm gonna do. Okay, I'm dumb. Because I was just depositing them to get rid of them faster, but it turns out when the scavenger goes to sleep, you can't get any more. So I guess I'm gonna have to find a thieving room at different time and move on. I'm gonna try my hand at the uh, lizardman shamans. Oop. Maybe next time. And I'm back. Noodling with the butterfly net. Two misses, are you kidding me? Well, I'm actually gonna be done here at 14 because I'm going to do the museum history quiz. I would consider this some sort of mini game quest. Either way, fits the requirements. It'll give me the 17 hunter. And so we're just gonna get it done. And I'll see you in a minute. And that's it completed. Easy nine slayer and 17 hunter. We can now catch baby implings. So in the next episode, we will be off to Puro Puro. And that's gonna wrap it up for this episode. So I'm gonna head over to a wheat field and uh, see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.